Hello. Welcome once again to Stuff That's Plays. I'm your good friend, Bradley. That's our good friend, Link. His good friend, Tallinn. His other good friend, Shidon. And that is their potential good friend, Riju, down there playing with lightning. Now, we are about to embark on what I believe will be the path that leads us to the... What temple is it for the Gerudo? I guess the lightning temple? Yeah. Maybe? Because it's the air, the water, the fire... Is this ground or lightning? I don't know. It's a temple, and we're going to be doing it. So, if we go talk to Riju, she will lead us towards the path. Let's break this first. There we go. Look at all these arrows. Let's grab all the arrows. Oh, okay. We have to talk to her. This is going to be fun. I think. I'm sure it will be. The whole rest of the game has been fun. I don't know why this would be any different. She's all growed up from Breath of the Wild. You missed. God, she missed. Pathetic. <laughs> Link will hit it. Link. Link. She didn't say it's you, she said Link. We're in enough clothes there, Riju, chief of the Gerudo. She looks kind of familiar. She was just a little kid in the last game. Cool. Okay, I'm excited about this. I think this is going to be fun. Oh, Link's doing his thing. Uh, so, Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky. Zelda vanished right in front of you. And now you've come here looking for clues. All the Gerudo have the exact same voice. <laughs> Link, I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But, do not, but to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. I bet our problems are the same. They're intertwined. Yes, it's all sandy. I've noticed that. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appeared around the same time as the events at Hyrule Castle took place. It has blanketed the whole desert, including our town. And not long after that, swarms of monsters we'd never seen before began attacking. We're calling them Giptos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They are slow, but they still make investigating the sand shroud difficult. <coughs> Some sand in the throat right now. Were you watching just now? I suck. I can't even hit... I've been practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it may be an effective weapon against the Gibdos. Fireworks, too. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. Something tells me we're going to be getting a lot of practice once we go to the whatever temple. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Gibdos. If I can do that, we can investigate the source of this sand shroud and search for Zelda as well. <laughs> Rinku, will you help me with my training? I think I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strikes. Fire one at that dummy over there. No, so she's going to hit my arrow as it... Okay, you're standing right in front of me. Hey, everybody. Thanks for getting in my way. All right, we've got big old Bonobo over there. Okay, yeah, thank you. Ha! There we go. Now, let's try something a little trickier. Okay. Aim for those dummies over there. Maybe we can hit them all with a single lightning strike? Should I aim for the middle one? Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Instead, aim for the area in the middle of all three, like right around where that rock is jutting out. Why don't I just aim for the middle dummy? Oh, but keep in mind that the farther away a target is from me, the longer it will take me to build up the energy to hit it. Yes. Okay, what does that mean? So I should wait for her a little bit? Oh, there's like a, a circle. Okay, I see that. And I'm a little far away. Okay. Yes! I'm getting the hang of it now. Right. Good job, I guess. The Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. All right, let's go kick some Gibdo. Uh. I can't thank you enough for your help, Link. She's almost got abs. She kind of has abs. A lot of abs in the Gerudo, uh, I guess, ethnicity. Uh -huh. uh, what, what was that? Link doesn't even have abs. 
It didn't sound like any noise the sand shroud has made, that's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... <gasps> Chief! We've received word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking Karakara Bazaar. Buriara is already on her way over there. She's already... <gasps> okay, understood. Thank you. Can we ride seals? Link, we need to head to Karakara Bazaar at once. I must ask for your help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Do you remember Karakara Bazaar? It's the oasis northeast of Gerudo Town. Yes, I remember. Let's show those Gibdos what we're made of. I think we get to ride sand seals. Let's ride sand seals. Uh, 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 where'd you go? Read you. Read you. I, I don't have radar, read you. No radar. I'm gonna I'm gonna take whatever's in this chest. I'll be with you in a moment, read you. Am I just supposed to go there? Uh Robo. Okay, that's good. Uh I thought we were gonna be in like a cool chase scene on sand seals. I wanted sand seals, man. Where'd she go? Go. <laughs> in a very odd way. Where'd she go? I don't know where she went. Discovery, Gerudo Sanctuary, Gerudo Desert. Okay, I can't look at anything. Um, I don't know which way to go. I'm going to jump into that into that updraft, and then hopefully we'll be able to find. Oh yeah. Hey. Hey. That was weird. It, it kind of just did like a plunk sound when I first hit him. Strange. It seemed like it wasn't gibdoing properly. Grab this bolt fruit. I'm gonna jump. I don't get spiked by this, do I? Do I get spiked by this? Can I climb this? Oh, come on now. Yeah, got it. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta chase this guy. There's obviously a cave. Where's the cave? What? Is it covered by sand? Oh, wrong. Get out of my face. I've got unbearable heat. What? Is it because I have a hot weapon right now? That's weird. Maybe I need to get rid of this weapon. Uh, let's do the lightning one I had. No, that's not any better. Uh, okay, I'm going to take some food. I thought that our little Vo headband was enough for us. And we got some of this. Chili steamed mushrooms. I think we have one more chili meal. And that's it. So yeah, we'll have to be careful about that. All right, I'm going to put my flamey thing back on, which is that one. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. So there's supposed to be a cave over here. I don't know where it is. We can't use our map anyway right, right now anyway, so we'll just wait. Go lift us above. All right. So, yeah, I guess we're just going over to there. So, we will travel. Might as well. I really wanted to ride a sand seal. <clears throat> More sand in the throat. I'm hoping that this. Okay. I'm hoping that sand seals <laughs> will be somehow involved in the Gerudo Temple because they were in Breath of the Wild. And I'm hoping it's as exciting as the air temple. Yeah, the wind temple. I keep saying air. The wind temple and the fire temple. Give those. Oh, I like their cool rib cages. I never noticed that before. All right, we're going to kick the shit out of these guys. I mean, the schniz, the schniz. Don't let any more give those something. Didn't read it quickly enough. <laughs> Ugh, if, it, if help doesn't arrive soon. Let's read you. Am I not going to be able to kill him? <laughs> Sorry to keep everyone waiting, but I'm here now and we're going to wipe all the Gyptos out at once. <laughs> Follow me. Link, don't let me down. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> Didn't realize. These monsters stand no chance, Bulliara. Um, So if I just shoot at them, she's going to smack them? Let's try that. Yep. That's cool. And I should be doing it at, like, in the middle of them, instead of just, you know, you know. smack this one with my blade. I got it. Don't worry. Okay, let's go in the middle of these. Okay, I've got two. I'm still not getting them all at once. 
Uh, I guess I don't need to have a super powerful bow if I'm just aiming towards them. Come on, Riju. Yoink. There we go. This is fun. Let's get these guys. Sorry. Didn't shock them. Okay, that's good. That one. Is that it? Oh, there's more. I still want to know what this weird mushroomy thing is. What if I strike this? Hit that. Didn't do anything. Okay. Let's get all these rib cages. I'm not seeing any more Gibdo around. Is that it? Did we do it? <clears throat> See, I knew this, uh, this was important. Can I destroy this thing? Now they're going to let me, maybe. We need to destroy that somehow. Otherwise, they'll overwhelm us. Okay. I would like to do that. I've been trying to do that. Can I shoot at it? I already did that, and it didn't work. Okay. Bye, Gibdo. And... There we go. And... There we go. I think we did it. That was cool. They did kind of break the rules of this game where you should be able to do things regardless of whether it's a set piece or not, and we couldn't destroy that thing when I tried to do it before. <clears throat> I already knew that. <gasps> Evil Zelda. Uh-oh. Is that destroying the city right now? That could be a problem. Alright, what are we going to do about this? Zelda! Wait! I agree. Okay, let's warp to town then. Um, are they letting us see the map now? That's interesting. The sand shroud is maybe kind of gone. It does look clearer. That'd be good. We can explore later. So far, I'm liking this. I'm liking the Gibdo. I'm liking Riju. I like the Gerudo in general. I think it's a fun, interesting culture. Culture of Amazons, basically. Actually, almost exactly like Amazons, because didn't the Amazons do the same thing where they would go out and find men? Maybe they turned the men into slaves, though. I can't remember. Okay, let's go. Uh, oh, I never noticed that. Oh, yeah, I did. That's the shelter. <laughs> We've been there. Look, Link. Another one of those things. There's a Gipto hive, just like the one that appeared near Karakara Bazaar. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time, too. But it's not only the one hive. There are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. I don't need a clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gibdo attack is coming. Oh. Right now, those hives are durable and nearly impervious to attack. But when they open and begin releasing Gibdos, they're vulnerable. Okay, so that's how they explain it. The Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever. <clears throat> so when they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. All right, I'll shoot them. Oh. Sage. I'm glad you added that last bit. Otherwise, I was going to get a little uncomfortable. Uh, uh, you heard it, didn't you? Come. Come. Is it calling out to us? Mm -hmm. Lady Riju, Link, is something the matter? 
I thought it, uh, it's nothing. Link, for now we should focus on protecting Gerudo town from the enemies at our gates. We must prepare for battle. All right, Riju. Uh, prepare for battle. Should I just go kill them? Gerudo hives appeared from within the sand shroud. While the hives and the tornadoes loomed ominously over Gerudo town, a mysterious voice reached out to you once more, beckoning you. Though this is important, you should continue to work with Riju and the others. Okay, so she's gone inside, so I guess we have to prepare for battle. I could just go kill them all quite easily. The sand shroud, the sudden appearance of the Gibdos in their hives. Strange events keep happening, one after another. And we saw Zelda near Karakara Bazaar, but she hasn't been seen anywhere around Gurudo town. There's something bigger going on, but for now we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Link, I need your help again. Speak with Buliara and the soldiers and help us organize our defenses. Okay, here's Buliara. Oh. Do you have questions about preparing for the battle? Uh, not really. What's the plan, man? Oh. Okay, we got Captain Teak. Work with her to decide how best to deploy our forces. We have got... Oh. Pada. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. We could reinforce our defenses with them. Okay. Well, this is interesting. So this is going to be maybe like a tower defense section. That could be cool. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Oh. Do you have questions about preparing for battle? Tell me about the enemy. Mm. The Gibdos we've encountered in the, in the desert do not fall easily when struck. Attacks only seem to dull a blade. But fire attacks, as we found out, as well as Lady Riju's lightning appear to be very effective against oh. them. Rather than relying on the brute force of swords and spears, we should try to explore other ways to damage them. In any case, we learned in the last fight that they are not unbeatable. That is enough to give us hope. All right. Okay, so let's talk to the defense person first, the materials. Let's see what she has on hand here. We've got some volt fruit, some bombs. Can I grab all this stuff? Do I get to have this? Fire fruit. Got a mirror, flame emitter, steak, some hydromelon, bananas, and whatever's in here. Let's see. Arrows. Take those. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's have a talk. Ooh. Hmm. I've been gathering materials that I think might be useful in battle. Feel free to take anything you need from here. Also, I'm confident that I can build a barricade at any of the gates. Would you? Would that help you? Uh, these materials. Mm. Ah, yes. I gathered up some weapons and the material to improve them. There's also some food. Oh, and some rupees. Some of the troops found these strange capsules while patrolling, so these are here too. And of course, if things get really dire... Like, say, if your bows all break or you run out of arrows in the middle of the battle, I can help you there, too. Okay, let's talk barricades. Oh. Three gates from the palace. The north gate is ahead, the west gate is left, and the east gate is right. I've got an idea for a barricade. I'll use iron barrels and wood to block the path. Which gate should I set it up at? Uh, I mean, there's going to be a Gibdo thing at every gate, probably, but fine. Do the north one. Can I set up barricades at the other gates? Oh. Okay. Should slow down any enemies that attack that position. Can I set up things? Oh, look, it's back. Oh, I broke my shit. Damn it. Okay, let's grab all this. We'll steal all their schniz, because we're going to make better use of it than they will. Excellent. Oh, lots more arrows. That's fantastic. Uh, Gerudo bow. What is that? Gerudo claymore. What is this thing? Give me this thing. I want this thing, the big thing. Gerudo spear, yeah, I don't want that. I don't want it anyway. Gerudo shield, not a bad shield. Okay, what's in here? Nice. I'm just gonna steal all their treasure. Electric Lizalfos horn. It's about time Link gets paid a little bit for his services, I'd say. And Topaz. Okay, so let's make some electric weapons. We have got a Gerudo Claymore. We might as well use that. We have also got... We had Electric Lizalfos and... Where are the horns or the tails? They're probably way back, aren't they? Electric Lizalfos. We have the Jewel as well. I think the Lizalfos tail might be stronger, though. I'm not totally sure about that. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's do that one with this. <laughs> That'll be good. Okay, and let's grab Gloom Spear. Why do I have all these Gloom weapons? I need to get rid of these things because I can't really use them. 
Uh, I don't have anything else <laughs> that I can use. I should drop something, I guess. Um, let me drop this flame emitter club. Actually, that could be fairly useful against these creeps. Hinox hammer, guards sword stick. I don't really remember that or where I got it, but whatever. Topaz rods, not fantastic. The rock hammer. I've got a rock sledge. Let me drop the hammer and let me pick up. Uh, I'll grab that. Grudo scimitar. And we will drop. Uh, I guess. Uh, do I have anything? Is there anything else electric that isn't a jewel? Because those don't really work as well as I would like. Light dragon. See, I don't have the uh, electric dragon spike at the moment. Black is alpha, is blue. The ice breath. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have anything here. All right. Well, whatever. We have enough for now. Okay. Um, Should I ask her? If she, can she do another barricade? Ooh. Let's talk more barricades. Oh. Oh. I guess maybe we can arrange it as they come. Maybe I can build Ooh. one too, though. Let me go see these other gates. What else do we have in here? There's stuff in here that I can find. It's a little ransacked. Yeah, probably not. Probably have to wait till those cities back together. But let's go out and let's take a look at the barricade situation. We could also talk to Teak. So she has the barricade set up there. Are there any materials around there? Oh, I could cut these palm trees down. Some of them are already knocked down. Where's the other gate at, though? <laughs> Okay, that's Teak and her warriors. Let's see. There's some barrels right there I could use. Where's the damn gate? Is it over here? Uh, I'm not seeing... Oh, there it is. Okay. Hello, ma'am. I'm going to make a gate here. Is that okay? Maybe the core of our fighting power... Thank you. Get off, the, get off the wall. Okay, so we need to bring some schniz in here and make a gate. What is this here? I thought that was a note I could read, but it isn't. Um, It might be tough to get some materials over here, gang. Let me just see if I can build something and set it up. Can't hurt. Why don't we use this? Yeah. Kind of big. Uh, can do this. Is that gonna fit? Okay, sort of. I can't take it apart or else it'll all disappear. I'm gonna try to make it a little better here. I mean, that's a gate. I mean, not a gate, a barricade. They're not gonna get through that, are they? Stupid gibdos. I think that looks pretty good. Let's go to the other gate. Then we'll talk to Teak, and then I guess we'll probably have to talk to Riju and tell her that everything's ready. Mm -hmm. I don't like it that I can't use Tolan when I'm in the town. He is the most useful sage, has the most useful power so far. Let's go. Come on, Link. And the other gate is here. Okay. Let's do the same thing. Except this time I'm going to build it on the outside because that would make more sense. There we go. Use that. Just flip her around. Slap it down. Now, if these disappear when they start attacking, I'm going to be quite annoyed. I wouldn't be shocked if that happens because that's just kind of the way it is. Okay, right about here. <laughs> I, real, I bet you these will disappear. That's really going to bug me. Now that I think about it, if they stay, I will be impressed. If they do not stay, I will be annoyed. Okay. Let's go talk to Teak. There's our North Gate barricade. Tiki. I 
don't know what I'm going to be able to tell her, though. Just kill the Gibdo when you see them. Maybe they're different. Oh, I bet I could have made them go to the gates that don't have any um, barricade on them. But I put barricades on all of them, but we don't know if those barricades are going to stay. Ah. Hives of monsters have appeared outside the town walls. It won't be long before we need to deal with this threat. How should we deploy, deploy our forces? We should. Who should we send and where? We could spread them out to lightly cover all the gates or maybe a concentrated force to protect a weakened position. Whoa. Okay. Um, I guess we'll do... Whoa. East gate. Ah. Okay. Are those barricades going to stay? Let's ah. do... Sword troops Whoa. to the west gate. Ooh. And then we'll put the cannon, cannoneer, can, <laughs> the cannon, the cannon person, Ooh. the cannoneer Ooh. at the north gate, because if they break through that, then they can deal with it. Ah. Okay. All right. I guess we're good. Let's go talk to Riji. Where am I going? Let's go talk to Riju. She's in here, right? Now, who wants to place bets? How many of you think that those barricades that I put up are going to stay there when the attack starts? I'm about 50-50. Mm. Are the preparations complete? Alrighty. This should be fun. Long load time. They must be getting ready for something big. Really long load time. Okay. I want to get up to a higher vantage point so I can see what's going on. Link. I'm curious about that voice we heard earlier, but... <gasps> comes. <laughs> These things are awesome. Oh, they have like vertical mouths too. Situation report. Large numbers of Gibdos are moving to attack the town. Before anything else, we'll need to deal with this. Here they come. Okay, they're coming to that gate. No, they're coming to all the gates. Okay, that's what I thought. So I can go out. I hope that she's just going to be following me so we can just go and deal with the ones we need to deal with as we go. Uh, Buriara, they have the town surrounded. <laughs> Stay strong. The threat is also an opportunity. Fight well and we can wipe them out in one battle. Hives and all. <laughs> Riju's pretty cool. <laughs> Prepare yourselves for battle. Let's show them the true power of the Gerudo. Ooh. Everyone, protect our chief. Protect our town. Okay, I'm coming too. Let me get up. Uh, the defenses at the gate. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's see if there is a gate over here. Where is the gate? The east? Yeah, I mean, they're everywhere. So I'll just kill whichever ones I can. Here we go. Um, It's gone. God damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. I have to wait for okay. Can can you do this? Are you coming? Come here. Hurry up. Is it not gonna work? They're not gonna let me take it out that easily, are they? Okay, we're gonna have to go to the north gate here soon. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, I did it. Okay, cool. Give it all. Okay, so this place is fine. I'm gonna reposition the troops if I can. I don't know if I can do that after the battle has been joined. Let's so see if we can find Tiki Boy. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Where's Tiki? Hey, Tiki. Uh. Mm, yeah, they're fine. Okay. Excellent. All right, we'll take out the other hive here because we don't have any barricades left. Come on, Riju. Let's do it. 
来たもんの巣から羽根付きが現れた街に溢れさせるな殲滅せよ A flying gibdo One more, one more. And we'll take out the doofuses on the ground. Come on. Re energize, woman. Here we go. Yes. There it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on woman. Ooh, look at all those. We got in one blast. That was freaking awesome. I think we got every single one. Give the wing. A wing that catches the light. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with the side of them attached. Cool. Grab all these bones, please. We're doing great. We're doing just fine. All right, let's head back in. We'll go to the north gate, we'll take out that hive, and then we will see. Well, on the way, we'll check to see. Uh oh. Gibdi. Uh oh. Gibby. Oh, fly it. Wow, thank you. That everybody okay i'm gonna go take out the north gate man they broke through that barrier pretty quickly let's go all right look at that Whoa. yeah 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 <laughs> hurry hurry they're freaking me out hurry up reach you they're coming One more. Wow, it's unbearably cold right now. It's after me. Oh, wow. Lightning does a lot better than the, than the flame, actually. Okay, I think that's everything, right? Can we do it? Maybe there's still some more inside? I guess we'll go in there and check. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not talking to you. Oh, flyers. That's got to be everybody, right? Look at that. We did it. Mm. Mm. Ah! Yeah, the Gerudo are cool. That was fun. I like that. I mean, uh. it was very, very simple, but it was still fun. Link, I am incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all the Gerudo, thank you. I suspect the Gibdo threat will calm down a bit now that we've wiped out their hives that were surrounding the town. Mm. I noticed that the hives crumbled into sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connection to the sand. Or maybe, maybe they're connected to the sand shroud. Did they make it? Did it summon them? <laughs> hmm. And then there's this voice that you and I both heard. A voice and lightning. This reminds me of something. Mm. Link, there's something you should see. Come down to the mural, at, to the mural in the underground shelter. Go see Merle in the underground shelter. All right, here we go. I want to get these wings, baby. Give those. Give me wings. And there are bones. Can't remember what you could do with the bones. Just make a weapon, maybe. Uh, there's a few more. The wings could be useful. They seem rare. Still got time. I'm hoping we're going to be on the path to the temple here soon. But we shall see. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'd like to get in the shelter, please. Can I get in the shelter, please? Oh. Uh, well, against the Gibdos. I'm glad you're all right. It would have been acceptable. You may pass through here. Get in the okay, thank you. Ah, what the? What the hell? I did not even realize that. Why is there a message in a bottle here? And can I can I have it? Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Wasn't prepared for that. Message in a bottle, yeah. It's you, at long last. You, the vo reading this letter, are the vo I was fated to meet, and I am the vi you were destined for. Uh, you must hurry and rescue me. I am locked away from the outside world. Do not worry, though. I will send all of my love to you until you can come and find me. 
Stay safe and know that we will meet soon. It is our destiny after all. Caliban. Okay, so Caliban, does that mean she's just in the shelter, right? Okay. Anyway. Uh, we don't... We probably shouldn't be doing this... This well right now, but... Uh, I mean, I guess maybe we should. Might as well. <laughs> it's not really what we should be up to, but whatever. Go a little further and see what's up. Get up there, boy. What is that? Another bottle? This is strange. Is this going to be from Caliban again? Yoink. You at long last. Okay. So it's the same stuff from Caliban. Interesting. Let's go over here. There was an entrance. <laughs> Caliban? Uh, okay. Ah, okay. Can I move this? Oh, interesting. Is Kelly Ban in here? Construction and service notes in regard to work on the hole in the floor. Due to a lack of resources, a large stone slab has been used to temporarily seal the hole in the floor. Okay. I thought maybe Kelly Ban had barricaded herself in here. All right, this is weird. Anyway, <laughs> we shouldn't be doing this right now. We should be doing the actual plot. So let's go in here. Maybe we can find Caliban. Maybe she's the person who was sitting by the well. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Nice door. Are you Caliban? Oh, she's got a bunch of bottles. Uh -huh. <sighs> That's Caliban. What? What do you want? I'm, I'm busy right now, okay? I need to make sure the vow of my dreams hears of my feelings for you. But how can I properly focus the positive energy or put the bottles in the water while this guy's loitering around? Uh -huh. Get out of here, scram! I'm the bow of your dreams. Aww. Aww. What? Aww. What are we supposed Aww. to do with this? Should I get one of the bottles and bring him out here? All right. Anyway, let's not get distracted. Uh, we need to go find... Oh, is she not even in the shelter? I thought she said to go in the shelter. Am I confused? Oh, there she is. Okay. The mural. Mural in the shelter. Oh, Link, you came. Look at the mural on this wall. Hmm. Yes. It is thought to have been painted by ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that when they created it, they were also using this shelter to hide. Uh, perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also beset by some great disaster. Yeah, like having creating the most gr the greatest evil in all of history. Anyway, the writing on this mural says, mm. standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across the vast sea. Standing back to back to the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. Okay, we're going to be shooting stuff with arrows and she's going to be electrocuting them. You who can hear my voice, come to me. I await you. Mm. That mysterious voice that spoke to us. Its words reminded me of this mural. Mm. This image must represent a location of some kind, and the engraved words are a riddle to discover its location. It's the only explanation that makes sense. All right. Uh, okay. The throne. Standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me. I await you. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, oh, what did she say about her reading? <laughs> Sound show makes it possible to the girl, except maybe if you could soar in the sky like a Rita. Okay. I can't. Um, okay, let's go up to the front room. Or actually way higher than the front room. Where are we now? It's freezing. I'm freezing cold. Okay. Let's get up here. There's the throne. Back to back with the throne. 
So I should just be facing that direction. Let's go up again. If I can. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I, why won't I move? Why am I not moving? Jeez. Come on, man. There was a spot that worked. <laughs> Do, 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 do. A little further. I guess we're above the sand shroud now, so we can sort of see. The throne should be around there. Nope. Come on, Link. Okay, let's let's go all the way up. I could have just I could have just fast traveled to the shrine, I guess, but whatever. Oh, how far is this thing? I'm freezing as well, my lord. Let's go with that. Hurry up, Link. Why didn't I just fast travel to the shrine? Uh, I'm going to fall. I'm going to freaking fall. Ugh, for God's sake. Oh, for... Ow. Let's do what I should have done to begin with. Two red pillars must be united with lightning. Let's take a look. Okay. So I need to be facing out this direction. Do I see red pillars? I mean, I'm assuming it's these things. But how do we get... Riju to come with us. The voice and the mural are connected. If we just go there, will she come with us? Let's see what happens. I'm not sure how we're going to connect these with lightning. Assume I could break this. Let's get a hammer. There we go. All right, fantastic. Now where's the next one? Uh, I can't really remember which direction it was in relation to this. Let's see if we can get up above the storm. There's a shrine over there. Yoink. Okay, so we need to move it over in that direction. I don't even know if there is a thing to reflect, though. Oh, it is. Okay, it's facing us. So we should be able to notice once we get it rotated properly. So let's grab it. Can I not grab it? Do I have to grab it from up above? Uh, okay, didn't notice that. Okay, there no, I cannot grab it. From the How do I maneuver? There's got to be a way here. I can't rotate this thing? Hmm. Am I just supposed to set up reflectors here? I mean, I suppose I could, but you would think they would have the pieces here for me. This is strange. Maybe I could drop one and just kind of fiddle around with it and see what happens. Do I even have any reflectors? I don't think I do. Uh, I have a light, but I... Oh, I do have a reflector. A mirror. <laughs> reflector. It's called a mirror. Okay. Let's see what happens if I just come over here and shine it. I thought it was supposed to be, like, around there. I have nothing to attach it to as well, though. That's kind of a problem. I don't know what to do. 
Maybe I should just tell her that I found this? We could also go to the other one and see if there's anything going on there, or I could look down at the bottom of this thing. But I don't think I can get in it. Nope. Okay. Let's go all the way up. We'll fly to the next one. We'll see if there's anything we can do there. If that doesn't work, we'll go back back and talk to Riju. We've obviously found the answer, though. These are pillars. They're red. There are lights and reflectors. Okay. Let's go this way. Kind of a ways away. <clears throat> Come on, Tullin. Oh, nice. A little off draft. Yoink. Beautiful. Oh, there's another shrine right there, which is beautiful. Another updraft, which is also beautiful. We're on our way, gang. We're doing the right thing. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's go. Talon's the best. Absolute best. Oh, we can. We can rotate this one. The other one didn't have a rotatable thingy, though. That's interesting. But we also have a shrine. Yoink. Okay, so let's break this. We're going to get light shining from here. Uh, we're not going to have light shining from here. What the hell? Oh. Oh, yeah. These are those weird things that just are transported. Not transported. They just maintain their position. What is going on? Are we supposed to float a light over here? Can we get the light out of the ground over there? This is weird, gang. I'm thinking maybe we need to go to the other tower and get the light and transport it here, but that seems freaking crazy. Because then we can aim this one and point it at the other one. Grab these things out of here. Yeah. Attach. Okay. So, the other light's over there. We can see it now because we turned that on. We also have a shrine. Let's go up. Hey! I fell in the hole. God damn it. <laughs> Get out of the hole. Get up on the top. Okay, let's take a look. Take a look around. We don't want to jump to conclusions. Yoink. Okay, we have our shrine. We have this thing that we can rotate. We can rotate this. We have our other tower over there. And I don't think we have a reflector over there, though, which is the weird thing. So if we shoot a light over there, I don't know that it would do anything. They obviously want us to have light connecting these two towers. That much is clear. I think, gang, we're going to have to ponder this for a little bit. I'll run and do this shrine, and in the next episode, we'll start trying to put Arbiter's Grounds, some of our plans, into effect. This has been a good episode. Fun stuff. Had a little tower defense. Killed a lot of Gibdo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Jeez. That's dangerous. Uh, but we'll do more in the next episode. I'll see you later. Let's turn this on. What was that? I saw something weird. There was something weird. Oh, it's a flying gibdo. <laughs> They're kind of creepy. It's nice that they have beautiful butterfly wings. Yeah.